Welcome to another episode of Staged by Listed. I'm Ashley D'Souza, and today I'll be showing you around a ground-up new development building at 101 West 14th Street, located in the heart of Chelsea. As you can see, it is currently under construction, and we will be showing you a model residence that potential buyers can tour to envision themselves living here. We will be showing you the before and after of a two-bedroom duplex unit that has floor-to-ceiling windows and gorgeous views of downtown New York City. So, this is one of two apartments you're staging, right? That's correct. Both are duplexes. Both have these fabulous high ceilings and big windows that we're gonna accentuate. Yep. Okay, tell me what you're thinking about this space. So where are we? We're oriented for living, kitchen, dining? Yes, yeah, so this is a special unit. We're right on the corner of 14th and 6th Avenue here. There's these amazing double height windows that we plan to accentuate, obviously. Our plan here is to really do something special like a, a double height chandelier, light mm. fixture, something really sculptural and cool. So um, here we have the area that we're thinking will be the dining area. Um, and then here we're thinking a layout of possibly a living room. So clearly we're still mid construction here. It's great so far. We've been able to get more details like the beautiful kitchen marble and cabinets, which really helps us um, get inspiration for the design and make sure it's all cohesive um, with our selections for the furniture. The neighborhood and the architecture of the building also has an immense impact in what we decide. Cool, let's see some more. Yep. So here we have the primary bedroom. And we are ready in the works on how we're going to be laying it out. Most likely the bed is going against this wall sure. here. Um, we will probably do like a little nook seating area mm. or uh, perhaps a smaller um, dresser console table there. Sure. So a really cool thing in this primary bedroom that they've added is this design element of these windows here that are gonna have complete visibility down onto the living space as well as the street. You're gonna get all this extra light coming in. Got it, so you've got the privacy option, but you've yep. got the light, this nice corner exposure. Yep. And you don't even have to do like window treatments or anything to this because it's nope. such a special feature. Yes. I love it, that's Super kind of cool. like a cool little accent. I love it, it's such a unique feature. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. I can't wait to show you around. I have been anxiously waiting. It looks so good. Okay. Nicole's upstairs. She's just doing some final prep. Okay. She's gonna give you all the details, the design team details and everything they did here. Yeah. But I just wanna get your reaction. Okay. Come with me, look at this. Holy cow. It looks so different. It really does. It's a total transformation. Wow, I really love the chandelier you guys chose. It's so perfect, so perfect here. And I can't wait for Nicole to fill you in on all the details okay, of everything. Awesome. Oh, hey. Oh, there she is, Hi. perfect. I was just talking You're about welcome. you. You guys killed it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys okay. get to it. I have to run off. So good to see so you, So good to see you again. Bye, guys. Hi. Hi, Ashley. Wow. And I'm, I'm just already obsessed with this living room. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool space. I mean, this apartment is, it's in the heart and the hustle and bustle of this city on 14th Street and yeah. 6th Avenue. It doesn't get any better than that. So you've got all this amazing energy going on outside. So inside, we wanted to show that juxtaposition, that that calm and you know that serene space that you can come home to yeah. while looking at the city all happening right outside your window. Yeah, you have these big, beautiful windows mm -hmm. and you've got a lot of space. So this is only a two bedroom. It is, But yeah. this is a, a really nice, comfortable living room. I mean, yep. you could entertain here, you could really 
Yeah, have these are space. these are two full size sofas. These are not small scale sofas. So it really shows how much you can fit in this space. It helps a homeowner understand when they move their stuff into this space. How can I really utilize it to its full potential? You can have you know. 10, 12 friends over this here is, comfortably. Yeah, yeah, this is really great. I would have never expected that walking in and just seeing it empty. I think it really helps to see furniture here to get a sense of that scale. Yep, absolutely. Um, yeah, and the art's fun. Yeah, I mean, you have this beautiful glass. So you have, you know, s some art walls here and then you even take advantage of this small yeah. wall between the windows. Absolutely, I think having a pedestal with a really beautiful piece of art on it is always such a fun thing to do. This Brother One sculpture, I think he speaks really well to the fact that, you know, we have got some construction going on in the building. <laughs> yeah. Still, this is a new development. We've got, you know, that gritty New York vibe going on just outside as well. So I think he's a really cool connection to the architecture of, of this space and where yeah. we are. I really love the marble and the colors. This is just Isn't it is stunning? All so special. Yeah, a, a beautiful kitchen like this just makes our job so much easier. <laughs> all we really have to do is, is just Passive. pick some really yeah, beautiful accessories and, and you're good to go. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I can definitely see myself cooking here. Yeah. I really just can't get over the, these views. I mean, these are what, 18 foot ceilings? 18 foot ceilings. Amazing. Yeah. So you wrap them in these beautiful, I would assume custom. They are custom, blinds. yeah. We've got They're a lot of fabric them. here. <laughs> They're very long. But yeah, so we hem them, we sewed them here on site. They've been nice. beautifully steamed. So they frame these incredible windows. And this incredible big dining space. Yeah, yeah, this pedestal dining table. So Keep it's that. a nice solid piece here to anchor this room and to anchor this beautiful light fixture as well. Yeah, I love that it's round in this space. It mm -hmm. keeps the flow moving. Yeah, and that's something that's really important to consider generally when you have a square space, which this mm -hmm. is. So when you include the position of the sofa just here in the living room, it squares off this space. So you want to put a round dining table. Yeah. Exactly, it helps with that flow and movement. Yeah, yeah. I really love it. It's great. Yeah. And it looks like they have the windows in, mm -hmm. the peekaboo windows to upstairs. You want to show me the bedroom? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Actually, Ashley, before we head upstairs, I want to show you the second bedroom, which oh, sure. we made into a home office. So oh, head in perfect. there. I love this stool. It's a quirky little piece and those are the things that really make a space memorable. You know, it's easy for a buyer to be like, oh, remember that apartment we saw that had <laughs> yeah. that cool little ribbon stool in it? Um, so I think that's really fun. Something about this particular project is it really was a partnership working with, you know, the developers and the marketing team for these spaces. Who is the demographic? Who's going to be living here? And ultimately staging is about creating the best tool we can to give the, the people who are going to be showing this home so they can really display it in the best light possible. Yeah. Um, in this case, it was determined that the best solution for the second bedroom was to show it as a home office, um, to show that functionality of working from home. Having a second lounge and living space as well, I think is really nice. Yeah, I love having the flexible space and having it downstairs next to the living room, separate from where you're actually having your sleeping area. Absolutely, upstairs. yeah. And then we have this sense. primary suite that's really you know secluded and, okay. and yeah. So let me see that. Yeah, let's go do it. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. I love the soft colors. Yeah, very soft and tranquil in here. And you went with a, this is a king size bed. It is, it's a, it's a really good size king. Yeah. Bed, yeah. Again, I think if I had walked in this space without the furniture, I don't know if I would have thought that I could fit that and side tables. Yeah. And dress I think it. it would absolutely be most people's first assumption yeah. that you could only do a, a queen in here, which I think it's why it's so important to show the bigger scale furniture. People can always scale down very sure. easily in their minds. Scaling up is a little bit more tricky. Yeah. Um, so I think picking bigger scale items often actually makes a room feel bigger. I think people think the opposite would be the case, but um, but no, not in our experience. Makes yeah. perfect sense. And I love that from here through the window, you can see the chandelier again. You can, That's yeah. Fun. Yep, that cool chandelier. <laughs> um, that one, actually, we have a good story about that. So having to pick that piece had to be done really early on in the process. The reason being because we've got those amazing 18 foot ceilings, yeah. we had to bring in scaffolding to install <laughs> that one. So we yeah. didn't want to have to be moving a dining table out of the way. We also needed to make sure it was the right piece because there was no just no swapping it out if it didn't work. Um, <laughs> well, you nailed it. Yeah, so and you see it from all angles, so I think it was the, the right choice yeah, for this. Yeah, that's an important piece. Yeah. It's really well done, I love it. 
So mm -hmm. how is staging very different than interior designing for a specific person? Yeah, that's that's such a good question. So it's and it, I think especially when you're working in a new development like this one, it's more important to think about um, than ever. So you know, New York is such a diverse city. It's one of the best things about it. So we're going to have a diverse group of people that are, are coming to live in this building and that are going to be walking through this space. So it's really about making sure that we show a beautiful canvas. So when people walk in they have a feeling an emotional connection and they can really imagine layering their own life their own personal you know accessories and decor and objects and artwork into the home yeah. so we don't want to pick anything that is is too polarizing we want to make sure that we're using colors that are you know a neutral a rich organic very natural yeah. um, but the the main difference between um, staging and interior design is really making sure that we have character without that individual personality it's the sure. people who are going to be moving into this space that are going to bring that personality and layer on top of the the canvas that we're showing yeah. them give them what they can do with it and then let them make it their own. Yep, absolutely. That's, that's the goal. That's how you stage a brand new development. I want to say thanks again to Quadra and their whole team. They did a fabulous job as always, and I'd like to hear from you. What's your favorite part of the home? Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.